Good afternoon and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX extended its gaining streak for the third consecutive day as it increased by 22.11 points or 0.35 percent and settled at 6,411 points. Market turnover was BDT 15.12 billion, which is an increase of 3.48 percent compared to the last trading day. Orion Pharma, Square Pharmaceuticals, Kohinoor Chemicals, and the Acme Laboratories from the pharmaceutical sector, Delta Life Insurance, Far East Slami Life Insurance and Sun Life Insurance Company Limited from the insurance sector and Bangladesh Shipping Corporation, Mir Akhtar Hussain and BSRM Steels from the industrial sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, the cement sector posted the highest gain of 1.17%, while the tannery sector registered the second highest gain of 0.8%. On the other hand, the IT sector posted the highest loss of 1.04%. Five insurance, two industrial and two pharmaceutical companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Orient Pharma, Bangladesh Shipping Corporation and Nirvana Pharmaceuticals Limited registered the highest gain, while Bangladesh Monospool Paper Manufacturing Company, Information Services Network and Sino Bangla Industries were the top losers. Bangladesh Shipping Corporation was among the top gainers even though it recently declared a decline in its earnings. Nirvana Pharmaceuticals and Information Services Network recently declared encouraging earnings. There is no public disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of IT consultants, Lubref Bangladesh, Progoti Life Insurance increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. Lubref Bangladesh recently reported a decline in their earnings while Progoti Life Insurance reported a slight surplus in its life revenue account. IT consultants, auditors reported a qualified opinion regarding depreciation and amortization of the company's financial statements. Today's top two news. Decline in both export and remittance growth and high imports dragged down the current account balance to a $3.6 billion deficit at the end of September, which was $2.5 billion in the same month last year. According to the central bank's forecast, the current account deficit may persist and reach $16.5 billion by the end of fiscal year 2022 to 2023 if export and remittance keep falling and import remains high. The slowdown in European and North American economies has negatively affected our export earnings and the lower dollar exchange rate of invert remittance offered by banks has encouraged the usage of hundi. The central bank has sold $4.5 billion in the market so far this fiscal year, which has been depleting the country's foreign exchange reserve. Bangladesh's apparel sector's exports went up by 10.55% year-on-year to $13.95 billion in the July-October period of this fiscal year, higher than what industry experts had predicted. Even though production in most factories have reached below 30% amid record high inflation and economic downturn at major export destinations, apparel exports still managed to register a 3% growth in October. That's all for today. We will be back again next week with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.